Should I can never do intros. So. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey YouTube, what's up? How's it going? Good. That is great. So today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks cleaning with me video because um, this past week of online school, I kind of haven't really cared about my room, so it's like bad. Um, it's not terrible. Yes, it is. Um, so let's just get on to the video. So I'm going to show you the before. It's pretty bad. So, uh, sorry, but it'll be better. Um, so here's the before. So here's this little walkway that I go into my room. There's a laundry basket. I was doing a bunch of arts and crafts this week and got a little out of hand. Some clothes, blah, 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 blah. All of this, a bunch of that. Yeah. So before I do anything, the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on some music or a video that I can watch to keep myself entertained or just to listen to my jams. Yeah. Okay, step one is to make your bed because normally it just makes your room look so much nicer and I just love it. So let's get started. I just finished making my bed looks great the room looks kind of better but um, I also recommend opening a window for sunlight because it really helps so my next step is to take down all the water bottles and water cups that are all over my room but I'm not really gonna take them downstairs because I'm just gonna put them by the door because that saves me time to not have to walk all the way downstairs pick up all the trash around the room and all of that stuff so I'm gonna put you all on time lapse because I think that's gonna take a while so here we go <laughs> I finished picking up all the trash on my floor yay and now I'm gonna pick up the dirty clothes so here's what the floor looks like now here's what my trash looks like yay clothes yay <laughs> After I have my dirty clothes, I go ahead and put that by my door, right next to all of that. So my next step would be picking up anything that's on your floor that's not supposed to be there, so like all these cords and stuff, just to put stuff back where it belongs. I know y'all just love my sock choices so much. Before I get into some more organizational things, i just like to say that um, another step or a tip would be to always take breaks, like 10 to 15 minute breaks, so you can like have a time to rest so it doesn't feel like you're working on and on. Because I know sometimes cleaning your room can be like really hard and you're just not in the mood, so when you take breaks it really helps. But make sure to only keep it like to a maximum of 15 minutes so you don't get too comfortable. So I have some electronics on the floor and I'm just going to go ahead and pick those up 
and I'm going to show you all my organizational system over here and over here it's kind of covered by um, stuffed animals sometimes they're not there but sometimes they are so as you can see like at the top I have like these little sticker things thin um, and it like helps me oh the sticker fell off that one says pretty much everything. I don't know if you can see it. But over here I have my electronics. I have some journals. And then I have some books. And then I have pretty much everything else. And so basic or warning, I'm about to say stickers so many times. Thank you. Basically, you can just get any stickers. So I have like this book of stickers. Well, I have this container of stickers. And it comes with a book. Or you could also use sticky notes. Sticky notes are also very helpful. But it just helps me organize things so I can, like this is hand sanitizers and lotions, DIY. And so it just helps me keep organized and so I can know where to find everything. And just thought I would share that with you. Um, stickers work, like these little stickers. I'm doing like a little workout thing here. But like all these little stickers, you can just label it. And it just really helps. Like I think that's cute because I could just read in it. So, I think you can get some stickers on Amazon, or if you just have any laying around your house while you're cleaning your room, you can look for some. And they just help organize things. If you want an organizational video, comment down below and I can help you out. Seriously, how many was that? Like seven? But this little thing right here, this is a mess. And it's like that. It's not like that on purpose. But this just has a bunch of toys and like little things that like yo yo, pen. It's just filled with a bunch of toys and stuff. And I don't know. But if you have like a little area in your room, like there's just a drawer and it's hidden, it has fidget spinners, it has some golf, glue stick. It's always good to have one of those, I guess, because it's like a misc area where you can just throw things in there if you need. Another thing that I have is down here. Normally, it's like over there in that corner. It's a bucket of some more random things, but this is like for throughout the week. And so it's just a bunch of stuff that needs to be put away. But when I'm in a hurry, I just decide to throw it in this bucket and I can do it whenever I clean my room next. So I recommend having one of those. Don't let it get too overfilled. Just so your room stays clean kind of throughout the week. Um, yay. Now I'm going to clean off my desk it's not going to be that hard to suggest but i'm just going to organize it around and put it over there and everything so yeah And there's the trash can. <laughs> Lastly, I go ahead and take all this downstairs. Yay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. And peace, y'all. But make sure you watch the montage at the end. A few moments later.
now the outro.